Welcome, Gemini's. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support, Gemini. So let's see what is coming up for you, Gemini's, for the year 2021. I know, I know, I know, I know you might not like these cards, but uh, um, I support each and every person. I thought they were nice, but it's okay. Anyway, um, let me know how you feel about these cards. All right. So we're looking at the, um, the first six months uh, um, is here. Um, the year 2020, um, the first six months is coming up. And uh, um, I see a lot of communication in this year, okay? A whole lot of communication. So, and I see young people and a whole lot of communication. So let's get in the breeding. So as we look at January, the Five of Cups, the energy of the Five of Cups is some sort of a regret. So a lot of you, Gemini, coming in the month of January with some sort of a regret. So um, whatever the regrets is, uh, we are going to be looking at that when we get uh, to the energy of uh, um, the extended to find out what is the regrets all about, okay? Then when we look at uh, um, the month of uh, February, you are dealing with an Ace of Pentacles, so that is good. So some of you could have expected um, a position or a raise of pay. Um, it's definitely going to be transpired in February. It might not happen in January, or you might be looking for a job, nothing in January. But in February, it's going to be happening. Then we um, see the energy of... Uh, um, a lot of you are dealing with uh, um, some sort of a message that is going to be coming in. So some of you could be receiving some sort of a, um, uh, it's as if you are dealing with some sort of a, um, a financial money. It's as if you're changing jobs. Some of you look as if you're changing jobs in the month of March. So um, money looks good. Um, some sort of an increase of salary in February. Um, I think that's why the regret came up in January that you had hope for the increase in January. Maybe you didn't get it until February. Some of you, this money is definitely going to be coming in. You're dealing with some sort of an energy um, where this could be, you're going to be um, receiving the message that in February, the money will come in for some of you, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person between the age of 18 and 45 um, in um, the month of February. But it's as if money is a sense of money coming in. Okay. Then when we look at, uh, there's a lot of money um, for you guys. Then when we look, we see um, some other of you could be um, moving up the ladder, getting some sort of a promotion, some sort of a business. Um, that is going to be coming in and that is going to be um, wonderful and positive and that is going to be absolutely um, positive because things are going to be happening for you when it comes on to whether you're starting your business some of you could be thinking of starting your home business that is definitely going to be happening for you then we are looking at April April is the sense of uh, you speaking if you notice from April, um, you, you, you're going to be speaking your mind. Um, I see sometimes, so um, the energy was the Aquarian, whatever that was transpiring with the Aquarian, whatever the issue and the problem and the situation is. So um, with uh, some of you, I see a lot of you are going to be using the sword of truth. Like sometimes you Gemini wouldn't say anything, but I see you Gemini are going to be start uh, um, speaking, not only thinking, but more speaking, especially when you get to June, some sort of a situation, some sort of an issue, you're going to be start speaking Gemini's and really speaking up and, and showing up for yourself in the month of June. So I really, really do love this. Whatever um, that was happening and transpiring, um, people are going to be finding out the truth of uh, what was happening and, and what was created. And I'm going to be looking deeper at this so you can follow us to the other side. So it's about a lot of meetings, communication, especially in June, a lot of meetings. 
um, um, in this quarter. This quarter is full with a lot of communication, but I see your communication is going to be on key. I see truth is going to be coming in and whatever that was happening, the communication is going to be coming out and it's going to be on key. So the first half of the year is absolutely fabulous. However, this is and however, this is transpiring. It's going to be um, really, really fabulous. I see a whole lot of uh, um, stability is going to be transpiring and truth is going to be revealed about things that was happening on the work floor, things that was happening in business. Uh, and that is going to be good. As we look at the second half, uh, the second, um, the third quarter and second half of the year, I see the 10 of pentacles in the month of July. So a whole lot of money. You're going to be lending a whole lot of money, whether it's in business or maybe a better job, a better contract. But you're going to be landing that in the month of July. All this looks good when it comes on to money. Also for you, Gemini, it is absolutely fabulous. And I see powerful energies is going to be coming in to help you. Now, September is when a situation is going to be ending. Or you're going to be finding out the, and seeing the truth of uh, some sort of a situation that was going on with uh, some... Um, um, either money that your business was supposed to get or money you could be working in the accounts department some money some sort of a, a financial situation and you're going to be finding out a whole lot of deceptive play um that has happened and transpired and that was happening from june um that there was some sort of a false plane that, that was happening and transpiring so be aware of this that is going to be coming up so what is happening and what is transpiring? I see the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is that a lot of you are standing your grounds. Um, you're thinking, but you're also creating. So you're thinking and creating. So this is going to be good when you go to the month of no, uh, October. You're going to be thinking, but you're also creating. Okay, You're thinking, but you're working. Um, you could be doing research work, that sort of a thing. So I see a lot of you Geminis could be studying or doing research work in this year because a whole lot of thinking, a whole lot of communication is there, is happening. And I see a whole lot of transformation is going to be taking place and this is going to be good. Then we see the seven. Um, then we are seeing the seven of swords. And this seven of swords is a, um, a theft could have created or there was someone in a bank or financial institution that has created some sort of a theft. Um, so it could be that you guys are accountancy or you guys uh, um, do auditing or that sort of a thing. Because a lot of Geminis are always in accountancy or auditing or research, doing a whole lot of research and a whole lot of information is going to be coming in and people are going to be finding out uh, um, what it was happening and a, a whole lot of information, but also a whole lot of positive knowledge um, is going to be transpiring. So a lot of you could be um, studying, a lot of you could be looking for money to study. It's going to be happening in July and August. Now, December is... Uh, um, the, the, when you should really look, take a look is in November, some sort of a deceptive play with a whole lot of money. That is the nine of pentacles is going to be happening in December. So be alert and, and on top of your game in December and November. I got to say, um, um, if you would like to see the energy, the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. If not, I am going to be saying to you, Namaste, um, this is going to be powerful. There's a whole lot of money. Um, December, you're going to be financial stable. Um, money is the month for money and like extra money or extra um, promotion or bonus is going to be February, March, um, july august and december okay so this is going to be absolutely good and fabulous so so however it is happening and transpiring let me know i gotta go namaste